Hello, I'm Scott Hunt. I'm the CEO at the Endocrine Society. And thank you for watching this short video that we prepared. We wanted you to have the best chance to interact well with the attendees at the Endocrine Society. So we have invited a number of doctors and researchers to tell you what they want to see when they come to the exhibit at the Endocrine Society's Expo. Let's get started. First, let me tell you a little bit about the people you'll be seeing on this video. They are researchers and physicians who are at the top of their game. These are the folks who are presenting to other physicians and other researchers. They're telling them about the new therapies and the new products that they are seeing, and they're gathering that information from you at this meeting on the expo floor. Now we'll meet Barbara Attardi, a researcher in Rockville, Maryland. What's new in the world of pharmaceuticals? And you know, so that's, uh, even if I don't have a direct interest from my own work, I'm interested in, in drug development and what's going on, both for my, myself as I get older and for my friends, uh, just to keep up on new developments in the pharmaceutical industry. As I said, I'm interested in, in drug development. I'm interested in, in new drugs that are coming along in the pipeline. But also, I, I like to look into various uh, uh, assays and, and uh, uh, procedures that could be useful in my research. So there are the basic exhibitors are showing basic uh, research uh, components and then the pharmaceutical uh, industry. I mean, I'd, I'd also like to know what's available in terms of uh, uh, reagents that can be used in, in basic research, and especially what's new. And uh, uh, sometimes I, I make arrangements to get samples or uh, uh, kits that I can try out. So I'm, I'm looking for people who, with whom I can collaborate and, and test new reagents. Well, they can provide me with reagents that I can reuse in my research, and so in terms of my, my profession, uh, particularly uh, new developments that I don't necessarily have time to keep up with on my own, so uh, I can find out what's, what's going on in the, uh, uh, in the industry. The, uh, attendee at the meeting doesn't really have to take the initiative because the the people at the exhibits do. I mean they're standing there smiling at you waiting for you to come by and so you know they and they tend to say can I help you with something so the the person viewing the exhibits does not have to take the first step. You know and I often say with a pharmaceutical company well I'm not a clinician so do you want to talk to me anyway and, and they do they will. It's easy to engage. Have the information available, have some uh, fact sheets or some reprints, even if they don't have a, an army of people who can talk about it. And then again, get back to you uh, after the meeting with somebody who has more expertise. I think two things. First of all, they, they give you information about what might be available to carry out your research program. So it is practically very valuable. And second, they let you know where the basic research that you've been carrying out is going in terms of translational uh, activities. So how they, these results that you get as a basic researchers can be converted into drug development and what the final products are. So I find that very interesting. I think there's much more emphasis than there was in the earlier years when I went to this meeting on translation and on clinical developments. Uh, if when they send out cards and they say we'll be at such and such booth and this and this is what we're featuring or they could say put more emphasis on what they'll be featuring this year I, I think it would catch people's eye to, to see that in advance uh, the exhibits is sort of fun thanks for watching I hope you found these videos useful and I'll see you at the expo